Hey guys, I've seen and invented had a lot of questions how the new Surface Pro from Microsoft is working with uh, the classical programs like uh, Sketchbook or Photoshop or Artreach. And I just wanted to share my experience. To be honest, this um, uh, YouTube clip is going to be highly unprofessional. It's the first clip that I make, so please be patient and sorry if you should see any like highly unprofessional things. So at first, let's start with Artreach. Artreach is optimized for uh, the use with a touchscreen, which is quite nice in my opinion. And uh, the pressure sens sensitivity pen is also working quite well. I really like to work with this tool. You can see you press like slightly. It's really very nice. What I really like is this uh, feature that you can just scroll and zoom with your fingers. But you see it's quite laggy. But it's working quite fine in my opinion and it's much easier to use and scrolling around with your tablet uh, um, buttons or your mouse wheel or something. Um, yeah, This leg is the same nearly. If you open a bigger bigger no i don't want to save this if you open a bigger uh, painting the leg will stay the same it's uh, what it's yeah you can quite feel it i worked with this on my desktop pc and yeah you see it's moving really slowly but if you just stop it and start to work on it it will be quite good and work really really fine so that's nice what I also really like about uh, Outrage is that you can use a uh, wrong that you can use little toys or just tools like oh no it's yeah something that's really that's uh, that you have like um whoop. like the scale you can just use it with your fingers normally but now this one is <laughs> really tiny yeah like this you can just you can just place a scale somewhere you can just yeah and it's quite useful if you just want to make a straight line or just like pr to prevent that you paint on special areas on your painting so this is quite nice so again if you zoom out, it's going to be laggy. I guess it will be the same with every kind of software like this. But in my opinion, you can still work quite well with it. So let's go to Photoshop. So the pen pressure is working here quite good as well. This is a trial. I don't have so much experience with this tool, and uh, but for the pen pressure to work, actually, you need to download uh, the drivers from Wacom, the WinTap drivers, and uh, yeah, like uh, yes, you can you can see the buttons are really really tiny. It's really hard to to hit them with a pressure pen. I'm not sure if this is going to if this is adjustable. Maybe it is. I don't know exactly. But what I just found out on the page from Adobe that it's uh, that um, Photoshop has no touchscreen support like Outreach, for example. That you can't like uh, do this fancy stuff like zooming out and zooming in. That the touchscreen is only supported that you can, that you can just pull with your finger and it's counted as a single mouse click. But Nevertheless, the pen pressure is working after you install the drivers that I've talking that I've talked about. And oops, and um, and yeah, this is also quite well. But I guess if you have like really bigger paintings, it will be similar to um, to uh, Artwitch that it's going to lag if you zoom in or zoom out. We can just do it and. Zoom in, but yeah, this is not really high, res high resolution as well. 
Let's start a new painting. So, okay. I just check, check, and this one, this one is no actual for the pressure pen that I just, you have to adjust it, I guess, on every single brush if you want to use the pen pressure. That, uh, yeah, before you won't really recognize it. It's a little bit more complicated, especially for me, the super tiny buttons are really hard to use on this one. But, yeah, it's working, that's for sure. No, I don't want to save. No. And let's come to our last tool that we want to try out. A sketchbook. This is also only the try of the version. But it's working quite well too. I really love this little UI things that you have that you can just move around and like the opacity or luminance you can just change it like this or the size of your brush actual or your tool and as you can see the pen pressure is working really nice too very smooth and you have also oh you normally have ah there it is you normally have also this nice uh, and easy to use zoom and scroll function with the touchscreen. Yeah, and um, it's working quite well. I didn't see any lag, any any lag here. It's like yeah, if you whoop, if you zoom out, then you can have probably have some little lag. I'm sorry, I have really sick fingers to fix. I guess at the moment, but um, this is a tool that I have seen that. Um, not so much performance issues like with uh, Outrage, but uh, if you are like, for me it was the, de the decision that I bought the Surface was really like, um, should I get a Vacuum Cintiq, which is like 800 bucks, or should I get a Surface Pro that I can use, that I can use everywhere. But as you can see, you have performance issues if you have your Cintiq on a real uh, strong or powerful desktop PC. You won't probably not have these issues like with zooming out and zooming in. But uh, yeah, for me, this is a better solution because I can just like making rough outlines or just do, getting into details of a painting. And I can do that. I, I can do this wherever I want, which is also quite nice if you just shut the surface down, just like now with the tool open and you turn it on again, it will reload like it will need like two seconds and you can just oh, and you can just continue painting yeah it's quite nice so yeah sorry for the video if there have been any like funny things going on because i'm really not a pro not a professional but if you should have any questions or if you just want me to test out something and something special or you want to see something just post it in the comments and yeah i will try to update it as soon as possible thank you for, for watching have a nice day